Yes, sir. Could you sign in, please? I don't think this topic has been covered, so uh, the 2019 budget necessarily impacts the uh, budgets of um, our citizens. At this time, allow me to focus on the most significant number affecting the taxpayers of Seneca Falls and the property taxes they pay. This number is the median household income of Seneca Falls. Seneca Falls has a median household income of $44,006. Now, the median household income for all the state of New York is $60,741. Seneca Falls is 28% lower than all of New York. Uh, the national um, average is $55,322. Seneca Falls is 20% lower than that. Seneca Falls is at the bottom of the heap when it comes to median household income. Now, the figures I have from the 2019 budget are from the press, because there's no summary sheet here or anything else to, to know. So it's what I read in the newspaper. While the drop of one half of 1% in property taxes is a step in the right direction in the proposed 2019 budget, it does not give much relief to those struggling to sustain their properties. Town government needs to lower property taxes more extensively than one half of 1% to give relief to its citizens who are earning very modest wages. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Could you sign in, please? Uh, good evening. Uh, may it please the board, thank you for the opportunity to address you regarding the town's proposed 2019 budget. Could you state your name, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Mark Benjamin, I live in Lodi. Lodi? Lodi? I am here as an employee of the single largest taxpayer in Seneca Falls. I have also been asked by several Seneca Falls resident taxpayers to appeal to you all to lower their taxes as their testimony to me has been, and I quote one particular taxpayer that stopped me in Walmart, Mark, what are you going to do? I cannot afford my taxes to go up. First, I'd like to thank the members of the town board who continue to work hard for tax relief. Second, I respectfully disagree with the board members who over the last several weeks have taken the following four-step action plan over the course of the budget workshops that has and will lead to further tax increases. Number one, you voted against lowering taxes and resetting the general fund rate back to 2017 rates of $6.09 per 1,000 of assessed property value. Number two, you voted for giving yourselves pay raises. Number three, you voted against $100 million in tax relief. Let me say that again. Number three, you voted budget. against $100 million in tax relief. Not in Number four, you voted to litigate against one of the largest job makers and the single largest taxpayer in your own town. We cannot afford your four-step action plan to increase taxes and drive out jobs and businesses. Please go back and resolve to come up with a budget plan that provides tax relief in the amount of $100 million. Finally, for the record, for that taxpayer who pleaded with me at Walmart in front of this board today, we have done everything we can to work with the town to find common ground 
and provide tax relief for all Seneca Falls taxpayers. Thank you. Would anyone else like to speak? Seeing that no one else would like to speak, I move to close the public hearing on the 2019 budget. I need a second on that. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. The public hearing is closed. Uh, we will move right into a regular meeting. Uh, since roll call has already been taken, I would presume that could stand for this meeting. We have said the pledge, although there's nothing wrong in saying the pledge twice. <laughs> a number of people were discouraged by my saying the pledge twice before, so at our last meeting, so I won't do that again. But I believe it would be appropriate. Uh, number six. Let us see open bids for the sanitation service for residential properties within the former village area. Yeah. I can turn them in. Okay. You just want to get them. I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. is from d &L Disposal, 1886 Whitback Road, Newark, New York, Town of Seneca Falls Sanitation Bid, Town of, to the Town of Seneca Falls Board. Please accept our bid of $10,550 per month for curbside collection service for the former Seneca Falls Village area. Disposal fees and Totals provided by Seneca Falls. Thank you for your consideration. Gibson, President, 
He's in Dundee, Dundee, New York. <coughs> His collection pick up year one. I see our cost. Of it. Estimated pickups twenty five twenty eight. Four dollars and sixty six cents per month per customer. Four sixty six unit bid. Four sixty six month per customer. The total bid for the first year would be $141,365.76. Okay. So, 12 times uh, monthly, 12 times $10,550. Is it 126.6? Okay. And his, his bid for the second year would be the same as the first year. The bid for year three would be the same. The bid for year four would be $148,949.76. And the bid for the fifth year would be $156,533.76. So, if you have to go with the low bid, then I, yeah. we'll discuss it on the new business. We have two petitioners tonight. The first is Mr. Brad Jones, and he's going to speak about town financials. <coughs> Mr. Jones, let me remind you in three minutes time to speak. This is a continuation of my budget discussion, but it does pertain to town financials. I, along with many fellow town residents, attended all four budget workshops and more than our town supervisor and budget director who only attended three. If you remember correctly, he left quite disgruntled during the first workshop. May I remind Mr. Lazaro, elections have consequences, a phrase he has used numerous times in the past. A quick observation. Our town supervisor failed once again on preparing a cost-conscious 2019 budget, the third straight year, if anybody is counting. I have to touch on what Stan Prasowitz shared. We have to read about budget numbers in a paper. It's not presented to us as taxpayers in the open. That is scary. One other comment that I was trying to add uh, Mark Benjamin, he had mentioned highest paid taxpayer. Uh, I think the message, you have to give this some thought. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention it to both Greg and Lou, because in the past two years, it's all about saving jobs at the landfill. And I think there's like 50 to 75 or 100 jobs. I don't know. But recently, Bruce Bonifigli, owner, president of Bonadon, and the new president, David Molanus of ITT Ghoul's Pumps, Fall Street. Those two individuals have given you a heads up saying, me too, 800 employees. What are you gonna say, Mr. Lazaro, if those two companies decide to pick up and leave? In golfing terms, I think those two business leaders gave you a mulligan. And if you know what a mulligan is, you don't get another one. So start looking at all businesses equally, 
not just the landfill. Mr. Farrar, a good friend of mine, we agree to disagree on a few things, but this isn't political. This is called transparency. And right now, there is no transparency with this elected official. Three minutes, you're out. We have a $13 million budget that nobody knows anything about. One area that our town supervisor likes to mention, although we haven't had one win in the three years you've been at that seat, is economic development. Not one line item in those four budget workshops discussed economic development. When don't you think it's time to put in an economic develop director's position in the budget? Mr. Lazaro, you may wish to read Bruce Bonifiglius and Dave Molinas' articles once again. And I'll quote, you can't wish for economic development. You can't wish for grants. One shocking observation, I think I have to share this once again. I wish you would allow me to do it under a public hearing where any other community, our county, speak as long as you want. That's what a public hearing is for. But for some reason, you just want to shut down everybody. Yeah, so I'll end nice. here. Yeah, the news nice. of the $4 million redaction in a tax assessment from a business, Sylvania, that closed years ago. No one in this room had privy to that other than Mr. Lazaro and Mr. Foster. What else are they hiding from us? Thank you. Sometimes, and I'm talking about board, sometimes things are said at these meetings and they come out as truths from the, from the press. And, you know, it, it gets upsetting sometimes when I don't want to argue with the petitioner, but uh, I believe we have a local development corps that we pay for a director of that local development corps. I think that, that people, that people view this town who come in as very business unfriendly. Yeah. And they view it as business unfriendly because in the years past we've lost a, no a number of possible businesses that could come in, but because of the hoops we have them go through, through the three committees that we have sometimes, and two of them <coughs> have got, uh, two of them are, are good, uh, the, the zoning committee and, and the planning committee. However, sometimes we need to have people to make sure that we are shovel ready for business development. With the, with the infrastructure that has been done in the past, we are far from shovel ready. And with all the infrastructure repair that, 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 is, that we have in the future, I do not know, except for borrowing money, where we're going to get the money for those infrastructure repairs. Uh, Three minutes. Your time's up. It's sorry. This, this, <laughs> these issues are important issues. One person and, can talk, and everybody when, else has to be quiet. When someone, when someone, when someone says that no one had the ability to see the figures, the figures are in the office. Anyone can come in during the day and get those figures and speak intelligently to them. They decide to grandstand at these meetings. And anyone can go get that information that is Bev here tonight? Okay, Bev. Bev makes up these these sheets for us before each budget meeting. And they are readily available to the public without boiling them. 
and the public knows, but people come up here and say, I have no idea where to get it. To Mr. Jones, I have to say, you know where they are. You've been in public office. So start coming in and getting these, these figures before the meeting. And I'm more than happy to speak to you about them. And any board member would be more than happy to speak to you about them. What have you done for economic development? Yeah. Next speaker, please. <laughs> Robert L. McGill Jr. <laughs> I live in Waterloo, but I'm doing business on 5 and 20, and I'm intending to expand. Okay? So, I do have an interest. Somebody ought to tell the president of Gould's Pumps that that grassy knoll on the west side of his building is an EPA toxic waste site. And somebody ought to also tell him that every community in central New York has a problem recruiting and retaining quality employees. Syracuse has had that problem. Rochester's had that problem. Buffalo's got that problem. Upstate New York has that problem. If Gould's Pumps were not itself, what they call in the corporate world, a toxic workplace, because it is a cultural toxicity, and finding it is the same, they would be able to recruit employees and retain them. You want to start comparing Central Falls to other communities? You guys are a bunch of losers. You got, uh, somebody wants to tear down an old building and build a new gas station, you, you fight him. You had a, a drugstore that wanted to move in, you fought them. Mr. McGill, could you address the board, please? <laughs> <laughs> then they should be quiet when I'm speaking. Anyway, you cannot compare Central Falls with other communities and just show the glorious side of their accomplishments and then throw stones at the lack of accomplishments here. This town has done very well. They've uh, done everything to cooperate with the uh, 318 corridor, uh, uh, petrol, uh, the quality inn, the, the Hampton Inn, uh, the casino, uh, you are providing a, a sewer service for them. Without that sewer service and the, in, in the upgrades that are needed immediately, uh, that development not, would not be taking place. It all is a very, very slow part process, and you people have your own agenda, and you can't wait to destroy this town so you can run it yourselves. Thank you. Thank you. And the newspaper over there. <laughs> Thanks for Thank you. <laughs> You want to talk about a joke. The last page in this newspaper, what a joke. You got into politics because you think an informed public Miguel, is essential. Mr. Miguel, thank you. Thanks, sir. I just know what they're doing. Thank you. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on to three approval of minutes. Before we go to approval of minutes, I'm going to have to schedule a special meeting because we have an IMA agreement that I just got from uh, uh, the county that we've been working on for eight years. Uh, I think six of those years was with a contract attorney and one year with our present attorney. He didn't have knowledge of it, neither did I, because no one ever told me about it, and then we get wind of this IME, IMA agreement that should have been signed about seven years ago. So we have to discuss this IMA agreement, and I'd like to set up a special time, giving any, everyone the time necessary to read this IMA agreement. And uh, so we need to set up a special meeting within a week to read this agreement. I'm asking you to look at your calendars. If one was about one and some pages long, we have a It's uh, Today is November 7th. How about next Wednesday? At 3.30. Is there a court that day? There is. There is, okay. Is, it, is that during the day? It's in the morning, okay. We, 
will be able to do that. Hmm. November 14th. Is everyone able to make this meeting? Yes. yes. Okay, you will receive copies of the memo I just received from uh, Jill Henry plan from, from the planning department with the, with the county and read that information. If you need to talk to the engineers or anyone up from the county, that uh, may call anyone up up there to be more than happy to speak with you. I would su suggest call uh, the head of the public works, uh, Sam, what's his last name? Free. Free. Sam Free. In fact, you might want to sit one on one with him. So get on the horn and set up a meeting with him. So the 13th or 3.30? The 14th. And you'll get that by no later than tomorrow night. John, will somebody be there? Uh, yes. Peter or yourself? Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> we also have to set up a special meeting for approval of this budget. Do you want to set that up at the same time? That yeah. comes under new business. Okay. So we'll wait. We'll wait. So consider that. Okay. A approval of minutes under a public hearing and meeting October 2nd, 2018. So moved. I need a second. Second. No, what's second? Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed. Motion passes. The budget workshop on October 10th, 2018. I make a motion. I need a second. Second. Okay. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. All opposed. Motion passes. Okay, I make a motion to approve the door control officer <coughs> report. Second. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. I make a motion to approve the Thomas Seneca Falls zoning officer report. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. I make a motion to approve <coughs> the Commissioner of Parks and Recreation Second. report. Seconded. Discussion. I see we have a fill-in for the Commissioner of Parks and Recreation. <laughs> Do you have anything to comment on? I'm sorry? Do you have anything to comment on? Not this time. I'm really putting you on the spot. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for sitting here. Sure. This is okay. Seeing no discussion. We'll go to a vote. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. <coughs> I make a motion to approve the Town of Seneca Falls Highway Department report. A second. Discussion? Yes, Frank. Um, we had a meeting Monday. Uh, Stu was there with the Women's March. Uh, they're very concerned about the. This is going to be in January, correct? Right? It is uh, December. Okay. Well, in January, yes, sure. And uh, they were very concerned that last year the sidewalks were not shoveled and people were walking out in the streets, cutting between cars, walking down the streets. Very concerned this year and they wanted to know what could be done to correct this problem. I took it to committee and we. Who and myself talked about it and thought that it should be brought up. We see how the board feels about that. We well, we could all pray for no snow. <laughs> yeah, so that's the first thing. But realistically, what can we do? <clears throat> if it snows the night before, you, you know, it, it is, I want everyone to understand that 
Uh, it, it's a matter of free speech. It's a great thing to happen if Seneca falls, but we have to put <laughs> limits on ourselves as to what can be done in, in terms of a snowstorm the night before. And then if people still continue to come into town, we'll probably, and this can go police chief and we probably have to close down some streets. Are we planning on closing down some streets that year? Yes. Okay. So the, I, I think those streets have to, those streets will allow to be walked on them during the time of well, March. What they've got is uh, they've got buses up there at uh, the plaza, Taps Plaza. A lot of people walked on sidewalks and they were walking in the streets on 5 and 20. Okay. And it was a big concern even with the chief. Yes, so I they brought up the meeting and I'm just bringing it up for them. We, we addressed that last year, Jim. Yes, we did. And we, uh, we took steps this year that we were going to work on. Uh, I look, it's already on the website. I believe Nikki posted it in October that residents were required to show their site. And if they're not, we're going to enforce that. And we have a plan to uh, do it to make sure that our safe routes to school and that our town sidewalks are able to walk in. We probably need to hire some contractors. The highway department would be out there shoveling people's walks. Those That money that costs us would be re levied out to taxes. It, okay, the, I, I think we need to put all those contingencies in place if there are sidewalks that aren't shoveled from that point on the center of Falls down, down, downtown. And I think we've done that before, is re some some of those things onto, onto taxes. So I think people have to be aware of that. And, and you know, probably we should send a public notice out well before the time. I just wanted to get it. They just wanted me to get it out. Yes. So this is an issue throughout the winter, throughout the entire, uh, I would say, the old village. Um, that every time we have an event, uh, whether it be downtown or or throughout our local uh, old village, there are consistently areas that do not shovel their sidewalks, causing pedestrian traffic to walk into the roadway. That should be addressed throughout the entire year, not only just for specific events, but throughout the entire year. So. Um, you know, that is something that I think we need to get together and come up with a plan how we're going to uh, address that moving forward. Is, are we still tagging cars that are parking on sidewalks? Mm -hmm. We're still doing that? No. Because I see that. We have, a, we have a plan in place for when we do have snowstorms. Yes. So obviously, high excellent laborers to uh, clear off the downtown sidewalks. <coughs> and, uh, so I think that's a good thing for business, and it, it keeps business moving in town, which we think is what we need. And uh, as for the enforcement of the clearing of sidewalks, I think we need to in enforce that and move ahead to clear those sidewalks as soon as possible and enforce those rules. And and hopefully when they come to court that they do receive fines for not and if they don't pay those it'll be uh, we never got that tax. Well, what's in the laws now is after the snow stops they have from nine o'clock the following morning to clear it. Okay. So if it snows the night of the morning farm every night until nine o'clock the following morning to clear the sidewalk. If not, I was sending the
I probably would call in some other people to, to help and assist if they were capable of running those machines. And Joe would probably ask you if those people would be appropriately <coughs> compensated for, for the work mm -hmm. that they were done. Did you have an issue with that? Did you have an issue with that? Because I think you two departments have worked well in the past. So we're going to, you know, we're going to utilize the, the men and women we have on staff. And but I think this needs to be closely coordinated with the police chief and uh, so, code. Yeah, I work. Yeah. We all need to work together on this. Can I can ask you that new track. If we get that, that be a good asset to going up to that side where I thought we have to go. Just keeping up through there. Absolutely. Another idea of putting back your head to come out here and maybe we have a new contract here. When we do call to okay. clear the sidewalks. I know nothing to take from that. Okay. Something may have to upgrade or something. So, I'd like you to be part of this discussion. You also have a shovel to make a person's margin. So, let's try to have this discussion sometime between now and or you know, every now and on December meetings and come back and report on at least the, the plan. You know, we've got a meeting, I believe, it's the 19th of December. It's with the women's march. Okay. So we'll discuss it then. On the 19th. Well, hopefully we have a plan in place to report that on the 19th. <laughs> Mr. Ferrara, I might be out of town on that day. Is there any more discussion? <coughs> All in favor of the highway department report signify by saying aye. 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 All calls, motion passes. The assessor's report, I move <coughs> to approve the assessor's report for November 7th, 2018. Second. Discussion? Yes. Um, I just wanted to clarify some of the discussion that was had today. Um, there was a couple um, errors made in the newspaper regarding the change in the assessments. Um, the total assessment went down from 2017 to 2018 by about two million. And that one little section on the Sylvania property, um, that initially was under the IDA control. So even though it was assessed at 4.9 million, it was not taxed on 4.9 million. It was actually ran under roll section eight and they paid a pilot payment through an old um, pilot agreement that was back from the late 80s. So what happened this year was the owner of the property came forward and they wanted to actually be put on the tax roll. Mm -hmm. So I know Mr. Shaw, we had initially discussed it briefly in my office. So now the <coughs> assessment's just over 900,000 starting for the 2018 roll, and they're actually paying taxes on the full 900 plus thousand, where before they weren't paying that much. I don't have the exact <coughs> figure because it was actually done through the IDA at the county level, and Bob Aronson could have those figures for you but it was an old pilot that had continued well beyond its time that we did away with this last year through the board of assessment review thank you for sharing yeah that. no That's problem a great example of transparency thank you yeah and no problem i see it correct and that's why we have good orphan heads thank you for doing that mm -hmm. what 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 when, the, uh, when you give information to a press, you expect it to be written. <laughs> and there was a mistake there. So. Yes, it is unbelievable, Mr. Jones. I would just add that what's, what's missing the elephant <coughs> in the room on that subject is the environmental issue which was on the property which has already been resolved before the town would have had any liability on it. So um, when you look at the issues, you should look at all of the issues 
and, 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 and you should Thank put you. them into proper perspective. And at all times, that issue was at the county level with the IDA who had an illegal pilot. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I know it's difficult for you to deal with facts and, and truth, but the bottom line is. You are so disrespectful. I believe they're disrespectful. But, but I, I know it's difficult for you. But you have to respond to it when First of all, you see the mass. You're not elected. You when you see the massive. <laughs> Can I also add something? Yes. We, the board members were told about that yeah. Sylvania ahead of time and knew what was going on, that it was an IDA pilot. Taxpayers were not. We were told in a meeting though, about that it was coming up. So we did know about it. They are right um, when we submit department reports, are those available for the taxpayers? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 I did have a little blip at one point in my report, but yes. I didn't make it a, a large point of it at the time because it was, like we explained, it was all fully on rule section 8 at the 4.9 million. Stephanie brought, brought it up. It was discussed with Bob Aronson at the IDA level. That was fun. Yeah. That was a point. I think I will rearrange my hours and I'll announce which street corner I'm going to stand on about 4 o'clock every afternoon. Tell the taxpayers, Mr. Jones, and you about everything I discussed that day. So you will be knowledgeable of those facts. You can get these anytime during open business hours. You need some information from these reports and you feel you have to foil them, you can foil them. And those foil requests are honored. If you feel they're not being honored, take the three minutes, take, take the three minutes and tell us. I was and trying to all, bring foil all of, information all of this, You wouldn't let it. All of this, all of this is... You're dancing well. Keep it cold. Yeah. Okay. All I'm saying is... I got information you didn't the, know the, the information, the information is there. I'm, you know, and I was making a point in jest. I'm not going to stand on street corners and tell tell people what I've discussed that day. But I don't know what information you want, and the information I put out a lot of information. If you need more, give me a call, ask me for it, and you'll get it. But I haven't gotten many calls from you, Mr. Jones. Mm -hmm. okay. After what you shared with me back in your office six months ago, you, you, you don't have to ever worry about me or other people. <laughs> yes, together. sir. Thank you. And thank you for attending the meetings. And so, taxpayers can get any information they want to. They can get these meetings. They can, can get the reports from the department heads. And I believe that all of you know that. But you come to every meeting and you talk about transparency. Black up. No. Transparency is here. It's just you choose not to believe it. And those are the concerns I have. Because you stand up here and don't tell the truth. I'm uh, Going on to the... Yeah. Okay, move to accept the assessor's report. I got a second on that. All in favor? Aye. Right. All opposed? Motion passes. I make a motion to approve the uh, report from the town court. One second. Is there any discussion? See none. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. That report's available to you, Mr. Jones, also. Seriously. I make a I make a motion to approve uh, the Seneca Falls Waste Sewer Department report. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. That report is available to all taxpayers. 
Seneca Falls Police Report for October 2018. I make a motion to approve that report. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. I make a motion to approve the Barton Lou Judas Report of no for October, dated November 7th, 2018. Second, Discussion. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. I make a motion to approve the Town of Seneca Falls Information Technology Department report. I need a second. I'll no second it. Discussion. I have one thing on, um, I guess it's the second page. Yeah. Item number, uh, number two, set up a tax-free account with Amazon for future purchases. Is that in contradiction with our credit card policy? Because it would seem to me it's sort of super uh, certain that's the credit card policy. I'm not sure. Uh, we got to get a feel. If you feel feel online, uh, the, if you have, if you are an accepted vendor who does not have to pay tax, then they will set it up so that when you make the purchase, they don't bill you the tax first and then reimburse it. They send right. It uh, that's that's fine from Amazon then, but from us, there's, there's no accounting until until after the fact, and that's not no. the spirit of the credit. There's no accounting of policy. No accounting. Of of a purchase. I mean, I'll, I'll ask, I'll, 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 are, you, are you talking to someone about the purchase prior to making it? Or are you going ahead and making it and then dealing with the after? There's something to be purchased that will be made known. I think what you're asking is, in other words, if it's above a certain amount, it needs either bidding or it needs approval, yes, but for... Okay, or, or, or maybe the, the, the credit card policy needs to be, you know, uh, amended to include online purchases for which a credit card is not needed. But I, I don't think the spirit of that is, is that individual people, should, employees should be making credit I card or I purchases. Think, I, I think it would be helpful to, to alleviate that obviate the whole need for it is to have each department when they need ink, when they need paper, when they need items that they have to have, they should be basically purchasing their own. Or if it comes to IT issues, sometimes, you know, can you fix this? Can you install these cartridges? Do you want to purchase from one source or do you want every department to do that? That's the issue. That's why it's an issue. To me, that's a separate issue. <clears throat> but it's what leads to that issue. That's, that's how it comes about. But whatever. It's, well, it's, you know, department heads make purchases without asking us if they're under a certain threshold. And if Amazon has a tax-free account, correct? And this is how I'm understanding. I guess that's what he said. Okay. Yeah. If he's setting, if he's setting that up. That then he'll still need the credit card to make the purchase just because it's a tax free account doesn't mean he won't need the credit card because he'll give a credit card. <coughs> it's just the okay. All right. All right. I mean, I, is that what you were asking? Yeah, yeah. So you were asking Thank for you. a credit card when you I know the policy is you got to go into Nikki and get a credit card, so you're going into Nikki getting a credit card and then. Giving it to Amazon. It was just the creation. And just the, yeah. it's tax free. As long as I know you're going to Nikki to get a credit card each time. Credit card. I mean, that's what, that's what the policy, policy is for all our departments that you go to Nikki, get a credit card. Uh, it's like I was there the other day, Aaron came in to get a credit card to go buy some uh, repair stuff. Okay. And I believe that's being done already. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the policy that we put out. So. And Nikki has control of the cards. Well, once you set up the yes. Amazon account, you don't need to ask for the card. Exactly. <laughs> the credit card number is part of the account, so. Yeah. Exactly. And that's, that's what that meant. That's what that. I think it's semantics because that's what he's talking about. Set the account up. No. 
Well, he doesn't have to go through it. Yeah. We'll clarify that in the next few days. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is there any further discussion? <coughs> Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Make a motion to approve the communications. Seconds. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Are there any other committee reports? Okay, uh, we'll skip right to C because we have nothing on A and B. Uh, installation of fire hydrant. <coughs> on Lake Spur Road. Do you want to just discuss that a bit? Do you guys should have all the information from uh, P. Baker? Yes. On the spot. I believe the real commission for what will do to write plans to submit to the department of uh, motion. There's no, no easements needed, it's all town property. I have to start it. Mm -hmm. I have to start it before we did go into the contract. Mm -hmm. Well, for any lines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 information and it's the second page down. Part of the Jewish. Second. 
discussion. I think it's a very well needed thing to do with the fire down there. We don't have any excess for water for them. The problem that was brought to our attention was a fire that was on there within the last year down there. And uh, they said it could be a problem with water pressure. And, it was, and they said it was needed for a long time, so I think we should go ahead with the plans. John, do you need specific uh, information for your resolution for authorization? Well, I think, I think it's a pretty simple task. I, I believe so, but if you need something more specific than that. And we'll we'll uh, come up with a, with a plan and process assessment. That, that's what and we The digital evaluation and the board will, will then authorize the, the uh, based on the Can't be do a formal resolution, but I don't get the stage. The real resolution would be to adapt the plan after it comes. The plan and the cost structure. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. D, policy use for space and condominiums. That's still on hold until you find out whether we need to reserve the large room for our own storage. Okay. That's the conversation that we have. Okay. We should have a meeting on that basically as to what we want to touch on. Are we uh, are we putting the old police uh, sixty state? Are we putting that back in uh, realtors list? We have to advertise that that's on yeah. sale. Yeah. But if anyone comes before us and tells us or says that they are interested, then we have to have a waiting period because we have then we have to put it out for sale and wait for other people to bid on it. Well, say that the bid taken on this, is anyone else interested? And then we have to sit down and talk to the top people who have bid on it and discuss it amongst ourselves and want and make it known of whether we want it to sell it or not at that point. So, could we advertise it as up for sale? Yeah, we, we, we could put it up for sale, yes. Yeah. Well, presently being cleaned in here and and along with the assistance of the chief and his staff are uh, monitoring it, making sure that it's uh, the heat. Apparently the heat was not on at one point, so that, but that's how Aaron was taking care of it. So that's why I say. Yeah. Yeah, put a new thermostat in yeah. down there. That's, but that's why I said I seen her committing at a credit card to uh, get a new thermostat. What, what's the status of 10 fall? I know we're digressing a little bit. On, on 10 Paul, basically, it's just uh, apparently that individual is prepared to go forward and purchase. And uh, we're, I'm trying to accommodate them a little bit in terms of just the normal closing time that it would take for a building now that they're going forward. Okay, so that hopefully that yeah. is going to be an actual closing. So we can go ahead and put that on the market again. The first one, yes, the yeah. second one, no. Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, actively try and sell that again. Let's do it. Probably one of this excess property. Excess property? I'll the Town of Seneca Falls has excess property that we would like to uh, uh, put up for sale. Anyway. E, salary adjustment with Deputy Highway Superintendent. Again, uh, we're in salary negotiations where uh, the highway has uh, asked us to uh, unionize. I think we're going to finish up those. We have a meeting tomorrow. Hopefully, we can finish those up and discuss that issue at uh, that meeting, and then we'll go from there. Uh, F, uh, renewing SMI annual permit. I make a motion to renew the 
annual permit for SMI. Is there any discussion? Yeah, I'm, I'm opposed and will remain opposed as long as they, they have a lawsuit in our face and they hold if they hold off on the money. If they retract the lawsuit, on the money. resume the payments, then, then we'll talk. But if they're bringing garbage, they should be bringing money. We don't need the lawsuit. You, you understand that, that they don't have to have a host agreement. I guess. And this can be perceived as a violation of the host agreement. Which means they put the payments in an escrow account and you don't get them yeah. until it's resolved. Page 77, or page. Yes, sir, we understand that, but I ask you. We understand that. So, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Oh, so. no. that, that permit is denied for SMI. It was that was the question. Approve it or disapprove it. Now since we took that action, where do we move forward? And that's a legal question that we have to ask. Because we're denying them that permit. A permit after having the DEC approve the permit for them to run their operations. I don't know where we stand with that. I have no idea. So, does anyone else? The people who voted no. Page 17 says it. The people who voted no, do they know where to go? Well, the town permit is not contingent upon the DEC permit. They're two entirely independent. So, and as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's, it's up to Seneca Meadows. If they bring garbage, they pay money. If they do that, fine. And if they take withdraw their lawsuit, they're suing us, not us them. So as far as I'm concerned, it's their move. Repeal Local Law 3, Doug. And then we won't have to sue you. That's why we're suing you. Well, you brought Local Law 3. The town board brought Local Law 3. Yeah, we don't have to sue you. To be clear, that's why we're suing you. We've been, okay. we've been turning it down and we haven't stopped you from bringing garbage. Okay. Maybe that's our next step. You want to take yeah. that action? Take uh, that order. That's, that's up to you. We haven't step. taken any action yet. That's up to you, Devin. You know what you know what you know what the agreement is. Okay. Mr. Black. Okay. But we have denied it for this year. If one of the people I voted yes. If someone wants to bring it up to reconsider it, they can. Under the no votes, because the no vote is the majority. I can't bring it up. Mr. Ferrara can't bring it up for reconsideration, but a no vote can. A majority, majority can. So I would suggest that if you want to bring it up and change your vote before the end of the meeting or we we we're throwing the dice and uh i think it's uh, going to be a long road road to hold after this dice because i believe the town is being belligerent to business in town so vote was taken vote was taken Under G, so make a motion we table G. Okay. I'll motion. second that motion. I want to, but we met the other day, and I'd like to uh, look at those three uh, uh, programs that they came up with, the RFPs, and uh, deciding on one RFP, but I'd like to uh, get a hold of them and see, uh, from, get a list some of the other towns that they've done in their work. That's incredible. They're happy with it. That's okay. 
Motion made and seconded. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in fa favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. H is a wonderful life request for signage. You want to want to make a motion? Well, uh, we don't have the information yet. Okay. Jim and Lou and I still need to, to meet. We know that. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Well. Under new business, approval of special events. We have some here. Approval of It's a Wonderful Life Weekend Events. Be resolved that the town board approves the event application submitted by the uh, It's a Wonderful Life Committee and It's a Wonderful Run Committee for their event schedule for December 7th, 8th, and 9th. It is understood that the applications have been reviewed and are in order. Both applications shall be approved pending proper insurance submitted. I make the motion. Second. Discussion. Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. I make a motion to uh, table the adoption of the town preliminary budget and use approve or disapprove this at our next, at, our, at the special meeting. Make a motion to table it for now. We'll review what we think about what was said tonight, and we'll move on. Is there, is there a second? I'll second that. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? No. Aye. Is tabled and we'll discuss it at our special meeting, which is a week from today. I have a motion on the table. Where is the town board? Has considered the adjustments made to the salary matrix this year, and where is the adjustments to the matrix? took far longer than anticipated, and a disparity was created between the adjustments received by the physicians adjusted early in this year and those adjusted in October. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town of Seneca Falls Town Board does hereby pass an omnibus matrix adjustment for all, all employees affected by the matrix change to the date of the first matrix adjustment in April of 2018. Budget lines affected will be increased using cash balances on hand and the adjustments will be paid in a special payroll during the month of November. I'm not making this motion. I'll have someone else make it, please. So moved. Second. Discussion. I will be voting no on this. The motion pretty much explains it. We, it took us so long to, to get the process finished that some people got their there are adjustments six months ahead of other people. And in, a, in an effort to simply be fair, whether we agree or not with the, with the, with the salary adjustments themselves, the fact that, that everybody, it should have happened at the same time, um, should be obvious. And so that's what this is, this is to correct. See no more discussion, we'll go to a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. <laughs> yes. <coughs> bids for sanitation service. Where are those bids? <laughs> okay. I was, it was suggested to me that we uh, table those uh, sanitation bids for not sanitation service bids for now and uh, to 
make sure we have all the proper paperwork that includes insurance also. So we'll be looking at that this week and we'll, uh, we'll that'll be one of the issues for our special meeting next Wednesday also. I made the motion. Did I get a second on that? No, I'll second. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <coughs> motion passes. Resolved that the Town of Seneca Falls Town Board does hereby authorize a budget modification to increase A2680 insurance revenue and A5182.403 light lighting miscellaneous to reflect the increase in expenditure $2,585. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. I make a motion to uh, reappoint uh, Bureau Assessment Review Member Joseph Pion. Second that. Discussion. Stephanie. Oh, yes. um, normally we would have taken care of this in September. It's a five year term. And I didn't feel the need to um, spend additional money to run ads and stuff to try to get more people because in the past we had a difficult time filling other positions on the Board of Assessment Review. And I spoke to um, Joe and he would like to stay on the BAR. And again, it's a free position. There is no pay involved in the position. I have a motion. I have a second. And any further discussion? I'd just like to thank for the user service he has been for the moment. We have a good job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, see no more discussion, we're gonna take a vote. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Nay. And just a comment after that. When, when these appointments come up, I always think it's fair and equitable to, to put ads in the newspaper and to discuss it amongst board members. I've discussed that philosophy before, uh, that, that the community as a whole needs to be made aware of these vacancies and we as a board need to discuss them. Uh, Joe Pioni is, is a member of that, that board and a good standing member of that board but it's just my philosophical approach to it. And so I would hope that I would get advance notice when these vacancies take place because I would ask them to be posted. So, and again, just try and remember that and uh, we'll move forward. Uh, motion on the table. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town of Seneca Falls Town Board does hereby authorize the appointment of Edward Thurston to the position of wastewater treatment plant operator trainee position at a pay rate of $21.72. <coughs> motion on the floor. 
I'll second that. Discussion. I guess a, a question for Joe. Why does this person come in as a wastewater treatment <coughs> trainee instead of a laborer if he's going to be just using the sludge press or something? Or he's going to be he's, he's going to be a trainee at both plants actually starting at the wastewater treatment plant, and the sludge press is a part of being a trainee or operator. So that's an operator's job. <coughs> or a job. Operating the press. Right. And, so. But he's not going to be just operating the press. He's going to start out as that. And he's going to be learning just like any other training. But that's going to be his main duty. <coughs> start. So that's not hauling? That's hauling the stuff away from there as well? No, it's not. Yeah. Our operators do that. Our laborers don't do that. So that is like kind of rotating one person, just not assigned to do that uh, all the time? No, it's going, to be, it's going to be rotated between three people. But mainly that's going to be that person's assignment for the first at least six months of that. But that person, he's going to get in the lab, he's going to be on checking pump stations eventually, and things like that. <coughs> that regular position is just starting. Civil service? Civil service, civil service list, top three. So that's part of the training, okay. That's all part of it. And that's civil service, right from the list. <coughs> the list is available. Is there any more discussion? Seeing none, we go to a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. <coughs> Whereas the Tom Ward authorized the appointment of Edward Thurston to water sewer treatment plant operator tra trainee, now therefore it be resolved that the Town of Seneca Falls Town Board does hereby authorize canceling. <coughs> of the water sewer department's <coughs> digging contracts with Thurston Services. Second. Second. Discussion. We will rebid digging contract next year <coughs> and reach out to local uh, contractors to bid again. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. We need to state first day. Or name of the person that's being appointed in the first bit. But they're moving in. Is he registered? Oh, he did read it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Sorry. It's. Yeah. It's resolution, contribution to its Wonderful Life Museum. Whereas the Seneca Falls is a Wonderful Life Museum and Archive plays an important role in the success of the annual It's a Wonderful Life Festival. And whereas the status of Seneca Falls is a Wonderful Life Museum as a 501c3 nonprofit organization has been confirmed. And whereas the museum has relied on a donation in the past to facilitate the bringing of movie personnel personalities to Seneca Falls for the festival and now therefore be resolved that the Seneca Falls is a wonderful life museum be given the sum of five thousand dollars toward their expenses for the 2018 festival. There's a motion on the floor. I need a second. I second it. Discussion. Is this, uh, I know we've talked about it before but does this come under the lines of what the auditors have told us? Well, they know, right? They, they know that what that we haven't included them included them in the 2019 budget because of what the auditors have said. But my point with them, with bringing this forward, is that, that with the, just the short amount of time, you know, they're relying on that on this this money for this year. They know that the money is not there, not going to be there next year. Okay. And there won't be you know, unless we find out otherwise from the auditors. We have a yeah. Yeah, I agree. With that. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And we, we, you know, one of our questions among ourselves was about whether they were 501c3, and I did check that. Is that a municipal mm -hmm. gifting situation? So that's so it's not. It's, it's, mm -hmm. I, I don't believe it is. So under the circumstances that. That covers it, so I, I encourage that to occur. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 
All opposed, motion passes. Resolution, I don't see, I have a resolution here for indemnification of officers slash employees. This is another one that comes from me. Um, and you can read from the, the first page that, that Bev helped, but it was at my request. Um, and it's, it's basically in the light of the fact that we have these lawsuits out there, SMI, uh, the, the uh, sculpture trail, and the HPC situation, <coughs> that we need protection as individual board members so that if we're acting in good faith, we're protected. And there, there is nothing out there, I'm told, unless we move to create that, that protection. So I'll read this motion if you it sounds long. I would. But uh, to summarize, it basically, and I'm sorry to blindside you guys, but I, I just every time I came looking, you guys weren't here. But that, that's, that's just when I came looking. But it basically, to summarize, if we're acting in good faith, in the discharge of our duties as town board members, we're protected. Okay, this is why I summarize that motion with what you just said, I'll use that as a motion. Uh, motion basically says uh, to indemnify <coughs> officers and employees yeah. of actions taken as part of their official duties. So there's a motion on the table. Any second? Second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed, motion passes. And no water and sewer credits? Okay. Accept bids and engineering services Phase two sidewalk project. Do we have that with us? We have that at the table that one, right? Okay. We saw some new and I have to okay. it together. And we'll discuss that. Let's put that on a special meeting agenda. Is that okay with you? <laughs> it, it's fine. I just think it's good it's humor. Yeah. No. You start with one thing. Okay, I move to uh, motion to table uh, phase two sidewalk project. Okay. Yeah. Um, Do we have it on the 14th? Yes. The motion to table, I'll say. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Uh, there's no water and sewer credits. There's no need for an executive session. We move to pay the bills. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Move to the special order of the day. We adjourn. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Thank <laughs> you.